Well, the U.S. sheep industry will get a much needed shot in the arm this fall when the old rancher's lamb of Texas processing plant near San Angelo comes back online as Double J Lamb of Texas. The new owners are the Hasbrook family out of Alt, Colorado, who, by the way, also run Double J Meat Packing and Double J Lamb Feeders. Now, the news comes on the heels of the recent bankruptcy of Mountain State's Rosen, which of course was acquired by JBS USA and has since been put on hold as the Department of Justice reviews the sale over antitrust concerns. On Sunday though, I talked with Jeff Hasbrook about their decision to buy that old rancher's lamb of Texas plant, who told me with the loss of Mountain State's Rosen, they just felt like they had to do something for their industry. So we basically just said in the lamb industry, we cannot wait. We've got to make a move now because that would put us 30 days behind if we waited. And if they added another 30 days on or something like that, you know, these lambs are getting bigger every day. So in our mind, we had to make a decision. Um, are we going to help the industry, help our customers, or are we just going to sit back and just, you know, let it ride and see what happens? Now, the old rancher's lamb of Texas plant hasn't been operational since 2005, but the Hasbrook family hopes to have it up and running in a couple of months or so. And in addition to harvesting lambs, they'll actually be able to fabricate there, which is one of the main reasons they reached out about buying the plant in the first place. Well, for us, you know, MSR was a harvest and a fab facility, so they could do it all. The new plant coming online, Colorado Lamb Processors, that should be coming online here, I would think, anytime soon, you know, within maybe the next month or two, all they can do is harvest. So for us, we kind of saw that that might be a little bit of an issue you know, just because of what MSR did and what we need to do going forward. You know, yes, new land plants coming online in Colorado, but we just felt like we had to have the fabrication. And that was the main reason that we pretty much reached out to uh, the old rancher's land facility and we wanted to get that up and running. In the meantime, the American Sheep Industry Association's Executive Director Peter Orwick says it's a bold and innovative step the Hasbrook family is taking in looking for a new way to support the U.S. sheep industry and that the entire industry applauds their efforts and wishes them the best of luck in the future.